Okay, since this is my year of using stuff I have, I want to show you this magical book I have. So this is Stephen Foster, and it looks like a normal book, right? But I, years ago, made it into something really cool. So there's all kinds of different images, but this is going to have borders in it. This is gonna have edges, this is gonna have tags, and look, I made these pockets for them. And they're all um, images from Graphics Fairy that I had printed out on tissue paper at Zazzle. So look, some of this stuff is stuck in, and I used plastic labels, because I have to be able to see stuff. But what I didn't know was that even if I, um, even if I make it so I can see it, I'm never going to go over and get a book. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pick out, I love birdies, you know that, some images to use in, oh, here's a whole bunch of the girls. Okay, I was wondering where all the girls were. Okay, so we're going to take these girls. That's a little bit big, but I kind of like her, okay. And I have some of these on the, um, the boxes I made. I have some of these uh, all over. Okay, so we're gonna take these out for right now, and put these guys back. I would love a flamingo, but they're not gonna show up. Oh, let's take the flamingo just in case. All right, let's not do, then, this bird. I don't think I need birds and people. Let's keep going. I have, and this was all, like, stuff to cut out. Underpants as that nice. So this is beautiful. This would, it's getting the, um, it's sticking to these pages. But I could wash that off. But I'm not going to. And these are all ones I made for little blocks I made, which are cute. But I don't want the hard edges. Sometimes I want the hard edges. This is a map. Don't need a map. But I have a whole bunch of flowers. So I want, well, I guess I don't have a whole bunch of flowers anymore. Let's see. I do want some flowers if we got them. Okay, there is a yellow, because I want kind of my, each of the pages to be monochromatic. So if I have pink on a page, I'll put pink on a flower. Oh, there's a yellow, there's a white, there's some birdies. Okay. So with how much I've put tissue paper already in my book, this should be, this should be plenty. I don't think I need any of these. Let's see what's in here, though. Oh, all kinds of really cool labels that I had printed. And the nice thing about these is that since they're, um, instead of being paper, oh, I love that. Oh, I love him. Instead of being paper, they're tissue paper. So they melt into the page rather than standing off from it. All right, I have probably glued this book to everywhere. So I had this sitting up, and I may have to take this spine off and open it up, which is fine. All right, here we go. Oh, that's fun. I have the, uh, this is kind of distressed texture, and I have it on the um, underside instead. Did I glue these two pages together? Nope, maybe not. Maybe they, maybe they were supposed to be glued together. I think they were. Okay, that's good. Boop. There we go. There we go. So this little envelope has a, has the um, ticket in it. So we could do something fun with that. I don't know yet what's going in the tags and the tickets. Oh, what's this? All right, 
I love how that turned out. I kind of want to, oops, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. I wanted to get rid of that bit sticking out. I think I still want to get rid of that bit sticking out. But a bunch of it came off. I don't want to cut too close because then I'll be cutting my envelope. There we go. Cute. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a ton of cleanup. You know what? I used this color combination, this kind of purpley mauve and um, this yellow in one of my all-time favorite pieces. So I wonder if, because it's never been a color combination that I've been like, oh, I must remember that. I think that is a color combination I like, and I must remember that. Uh-oh. Now, I know I like turquoise and red, so we are going to, um, we're going to change it, because I don't want two turquoise and orange pages. I don't love that combination. I don't mind it, but it's not like, ooh, enough for me to have two pages. Oh, here's a perfect page that we can put something on. I didn't do the, why didn't I do the, okay. Because I did the inside of this instead of the ever doing the outside. Okay, so we can definitely put, oops, something wicked cool here. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to keep trimming, <laughs> trimming our book. But I got to say, so far, this far, I like how it's coming out, and I'm getting to use all the stuff I made. Tim Holtz calls it, what does he call it? He calls it batching, yeah. Um, and I call it playing around and then having those things in my art room for the rest of my life. So I can't keep making stuff and not using it because then my art room fills up and there's no room for when I want to do something else. So this, this project is super good for me because I'm getting to put a lot of the stuff that I made and I love somewhere that it's going to have a, um, a purpose, not just a home because I don't want my art supplies to have a home. My pets have a home. My art supplies shouldn't be concerned with having a home. Um, what is this? Oh, this is part of, hold on. I was just tearing that away. That's part of the deli paper. Hang on. I feel like we're just, I feel like a hairdresser. I cut Grandma Linda's hair yesterday. Now, I have cut the boys' hair, Johnny and my sons, um, a lot right over the years I have never cut lady hair that has bangs and stuff but I think I did a really good job and since grandma Linda has dementia she um she doesn't like to go out so the fact that I could help her do that in her room and she's, she's super comfortable with me, so, um, oh, this one has that tabby thing Ooh, that I almost cut off. Where's the other side of the tabby thing? It'll be fine, but she's really comfortable with me, so it made her more comfortable to have me do it than her have to go. She thinks she's in a hotel which is cool because I picked her nursing home because it reminded me of the hotels in Colorado that we used to go to. Oh, there's a whole page with nothing in it. She loved traveling. And so staying at a hotel, staying at a care home that feels like a hotel is the absolute best thing I could have found for her. Okay, now this one probably has a tabby thing on it too, right? I think it does. No, nope, maybe this is just a, and, oh, it does. I turned the whole paper upside down. Okay, so it's tab. 
I'm working on this upside down because these tabs go on the top. I can sort of see it on this one. There we go, right there. Oh, I think I just cut part of my tab off, but that's not the end of the world. Oh yeah, there's definitely more than deli paper there. This is turning out super cute. So far. And for garbage, I feel like it's amazing. For garbage and using what I have in my studio, I feel like this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay. Now, we have to remember not to get too close to the edges because I am going to be using tape around the edges, or at least some of the edges. You get up there. Okay. So now, let's think about this. Oh, this whole front cover. Yeah, this is the front. I didn't do any of it. So this is good. We're going to put some stuff on here. And then we'll doodle in amongst it. Oh, I love a sunflower. And then how about one of the cool girls? All right, there's a giant girl. Let's see what we got. There's some birdies, a bee, some flowers, 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 blue flowers. That girl's too puritanical, too puritan. Those are the angels. I like angels, but not for the front of my cover. That's a fairy. Oh, see, I like these Victorian girls. Ooh, how about her? Oh, I love her too. See, these are the girls I like. So he could be courting her. I think he's courting her. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to use another brush for, no, that's a good brush. Oh, this is a good one. So I wanted a little bit smaller brush for this to do some detail work. And I'm gonna be less like higgledy-piggledy. I'm gonna actually try to hook these on well, because these, will totally melt into the background and you'll be able to see everything. Well, you'll see a little white around it, but mostly you'll be able to see the, the design underneath it. And I want that, so we are gonna be a little bit more careful than usual, than the huge. And yet still, I feel no need to be perfect or make sure there's no wrinkles. That's just not, is there a hair in there? There probably is. I have my hair in what Johnny calls Pippi Longstocking, two braids. Boop, two braids. Because it's getting super long and hard to manage. All right, so let's get this and then since I made that other book that um, kind of all stuck together, I have found um, Borland beeswax. So when I get done with this, I am going to Borland beeswax it, and then hopefully it will not all stick together when it's done. There we go. Because the Mod Podge sticks to itself. That is just one of its features. So if you don't want it to stick to itself, you gotta gotta do something. And especially here in um, Florida where it's so humid, it's going to... Um, to stick to itself a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, there we go. And then let's do our bunny. All right, I don't want him too, stuff blowing around. 
I don't know. I think the fan blows. Or maybe I just move. What happens that the fan sometimes blows the stuff? I don't want them too close to the edge because we're going to have like a really big tape border. I don't mind if some of them gets cut off. His little tail will probably get cut off. But I want to be able to see the majority of our bunny. Desi had bunny. Oh, well, that's where it's sitting. Um, Desi had bunnies when we lived in Colorado. She volunteered at the Colorado House Rabbit Society. So um, house rabbits are, I know a lot of, about bunnies. Um, house rabbits live in houses and bunnies live outside. So he's probably in all actuality a house rabbit. Okay, let's see what we got that we could put on orange. Do we want to? I really like this page. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, this is a flippy Audi. I think I want, see, I wasn't gonna use her. And now I'm like, second page, there she is. Bam! Oh, this fan. This fan is just killing me. Get her coming down here. Oh, I didn't get nearly over far enough for her butt. Duh. Okay, gently, gently. There we go. All right, so if that's moving that easy, then there's not any or very little Mod Podge under here. Okay, there we go. And I don't want this to be a picture book, right? Like this isn't like I'm saying, I'm going to put a picture on every page or that she's gonna wind up being the feature because I am going to do a ton of stenciling and things like that. What I am wanting to do is to have a little something. Oh, shit. Oh, we just glued that to the desk. You know, all right, we're going to have to, let's not glue the, okay. So this is that part of the leaf. And to you, that might be the worst thing that ever happened that you glued your book to the um, desk. But for me, I love that that leaf isn't perfect now. Okay. So that's a lot drier. Let's still give it a piece of paper, wax paper, stop it. So you would think I would just turn off the fan, but the problem with that is I use the fan <laughs> to dry my papers. So, oh, where's that? Okay, this is kind of a greeny, oh, green. Can we put her? Right in there. I feel like that's the best place for her to be kind of peeking out. She's gonna be on this meshy stuff. And you wanna kind of start in the middle and work your way out when you're gluing down images. I love this. So, the way I made these is that I downloaded the images from Graphics Fairy. Now, I am a graphic artist, so this is not hard for me. If this sounds confusing for you, then I don't do it. I have a whole set of, like, the, the other ones that are the squares that you could use. All right, she looks cute. Let me pick this up. Oh, yeah, I like her. Do we want something little over here? What do we have? It's kind of green. I don't know that I have much else that's green. All right, we're gonna, because we have this blue, but this is more of a twee blue. Okay, let's, um, let's try this. All right. All right. So we'll save, save the flamingo. Let's save this girl. Let's keep on going. 
Is this two pages? This is two pages. So this one, see what happens when I, I heat the page before is it melts the glue. So this one is gonna have this giant lady on it. We are gonna put her right there. Now this is where I could wish for a bigger brush, but we shall continue on. Persist is where I was going with that. I'm losing some of my words. Well, I guess I'm not losing them. I just have to think of them more. Okay, here we go. Arm out. Arm down. Well, oh, that's where it is. You don't get much of a chance to change things with when you're doing it on the Mod Podge because once it sucks it in, it just, which is its job, right? It's Mod Podge is like, dude, I'm just doing my job. My job is to stick things down. So I was working on the, which one? I was working on the, Oh, the taxi page. Okay, so first off, it's kind of a stinky book, but already you can't smell, well, I can't smell it in my collage. And I was definitely not sure about that one. It had like, um, I had a couple different kinds of hair, like fla flowers, a big flower and side flowers. And then I wrote on it. I had a grand old play last night, and I feel like it came out wicked cute. I was super pleased with it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to dry this. I'm going to do a bunch of them. I'm going to have my coffee, and I will be back. So I have been wanting to practice making my own eyeballs from scratch. So I made these two eyeballs and I had, I didn't have some of the shading and I didn't have the highlights in them. And then I made these lips and it looked, it still looks cartoony, but it looked super cartoony. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have ruined my art journal, which of course I hadn't, right? Cause I came back in and I worked on them a little bit more and I did some more, so check this out. So these ones I like better. So I found out I don't like the in between the eyelashes. I like them to be plainer, okay? And I think this one, I was doing kind of a cross-eyed look, and I think that one looks even better. And then I did this one, which I think looks amazing. Like I like the kind of three at the end, not focusing. Um, so I love that one. And then I did, I really love these ones. These ones, I only did the whites and the blacks and the highlights. And then this is the back, literal back of this page. So these are my favorites, but I love that I added those. Um, you guys have seen the, the last step here was, um, putting all the, the pieces on. And you guys have seen that. So today we are going to do stencil. Okay, so let's get our stencil book out. So I have this little stencil book. And we're going to make some marks. And let's pick out a few. I don't want a ton of stencils because I want things to be pretty similar. Oh, I like a grid. I totally dig a grid. And then at the very end, I have this one super special Tim Tim Holtz. Um, it's almost like this, but much smaller. So let's pull that. Okay, that's plenty. We don't need a million stencils. We just need a few stencils that can help us make some marks or add some color. Okay. 
All right, all right. So, let's do this one first. I'm gonna have to clean off my desk. I'm working on um, magazine collage, and I'm at that point where every time I come here, it's prolifer proliferated? It's grown. Um, okay, for this, we are gonna use some blendy tools. We don't always use blendy tools, but we're gonna use, okay, that's purple, so purple, blue, black, orange, yellow, red. Maybe I need a green one. We got a domed one. Okay. Oh, that's a scrapbook.com. So different places make different blending tools, right? And I don't use these a ton, but when I do use them, they're super handy. So what they are is a oops, little piece of Velcro or hook and loop, since you're not allowed to say Velcro, it's trademarked, and then a blending foam. Now... The um, Ranger paints don't make these blending foams go bad, but we're not using those today because two, th two reasons. You guys always ask me, do I have to use distress paints? I'm like, no, you don't got to use distress paints. I just have them sitting next to me because they're my favorites. So number one is that, and number two is um, it moves my camera. <laughs> so practically, so I'm going to go get us like a rainbow of colors. Okay, so we got teal, yellow, orange, red, two kinds of red, two kinds of purple. Oh, we need some greens, and we need real blue. So now, this is going to go very much along with color theory. I don't know if you've ever done color theory. I have a book on my website. I'll put a link to it. But on this page, the reason I made her eyes blue is because... Blue and orange, think of like the Denver Broncos, are uh, complementary colors, meaning they're the opposite colors on the color wheel. So if we put, if I put a ton of blue around here, it's going to make her stand, it's going to make this area of the thing stand out, not necessarily her, but think about it, if you had dark blue up here and dark blue down here, your eyes are going to be drawn to where it goes opposite. I don't necessarily love these the most. I, I love some of the other ones better. So we are going to make this stenciling orange so that it kind of, um, and I'm just using cheap, cheap craft paint from the, from the Michaels or... Uh, you know, Joann's or, uh, where's the other place they go? Oh, Walmart. Okay, let's see how we like that. Oh, cute. See, already I feel like that's making that look cooler and more integrated into the page, right? Because it's all orange behind here. There we go. Okay, I want a little bit in this middle. There we go, and a little bit over here. Now, I'm not trying to cover this up. I'm just trying to get it to kind of be more, less of the feature, because our features are gonna be the marks. Um, Okay, so let's, on this page, all I'm going to do is this one stencil, and then we're going to come back and we're going to make marks in blue. All right, so let's get him kind of integrated. We need a lot down here because there wasn't, this is just a white area. Yeah, that looks, oh, good. Good, good, good. I like that very much. It's just a little bit around him. I think I want a little bit above here too. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, that looks swell. So we are gonna, I'm gonna dry this, and then I'll do a couple more pages with you, but you can't stay for all this integrating part. You can come back for the fancy part. All right, so for this one, we can pick either color to be the um, integrating stencils. Because his eyes are blue, I'm gonna pick the chartreuse green. I don't have a dabby brush for green yet. It's gonna have to be the scrapbook.com one. Okay, so let's pick a different stencil. Ooh, squares. Because we already have circles here, having squares as the, the stencil shape, will be very cool. All throughout it, you want to um, do a blend of making things cohesive and then providing contrast, which is a super fun process as you go. And you can't mess it up, that's the thing is any of these layers that you go, oh my God, I really hate her eyeballs. Okay, that's fine. Number one, I like them. And number two, we're going to do more layers so it doesn't matter. Oh, I love how that turned out. That's really cool. Okay, is that just blank? So also, anywhere where it's totally blank, I'm going to add a little bit of that, that pattern. Wally's sad because his boys went fishing without it. Oh, and one more thing that I didn't even think of that I should mention is if you didn't use a uh, pattern background paper with stencils, you're going to have to stencil a lot more, right? Like I already have layers of stencils going because, uh, or layers of, of pattern going because I used pattern paper, but you're going to have to do a little bit more of that than I would if you didn't use the, um, the, the stenciled tissue paper. Okay, this one's gonna be fun. So yellow is the opposite of red. So if we want something to stand out on this, we're gonna use a bright yellow. Um, and I do think I want something to stand out on this because this is feeling very, um, how do we put it? Blah, but I need a, what do we want? What do we want? I think checkers. I think checkers. And you can tell, I really like checkers. And we're not gonna worry about that little bit of chartreuse. Ugh. There's a goober in my yellow paint. So this is really gonna show up well, okay? I don't want you to be alarmed. If I wanted it to be less obvious, I could have made it like a purple, and then that would not have been as shockingly contrasty because it wouldn't have, because red is part of purple, so it wouldn't be so um, stand outy, but this one is very much a color that is going to pop from this page. Now it's on the adjacent side of the color wheel, so it's not like um, if I wanted it to be truly like um, shocking, I could have used green because green is opposite of red on the color wheel. Hold on. We got something weird happening with our paint here. Now we're gonna have to find a place to use a lot of yellow paint, but I think I got the clog out of there. Okay. All right. <laughs> and this is where it's fun, but it can get confusing. I used to get confused about this. So they would say that red is a warm color on the color wheel, right? And I'm like, okay, 
This red is super, it does have that warm, dark undertones. But then I was like, there is no way this red is a warm color. And it's not a warm color. It's called a cool red because it has a lot of purple undertones. And this one has a lot of orange undertones. So you want to know which um, color of red you like better. I tend to like this color better, but I, I tend to use the um, true red better. I don't know why. So anyways, I am going to dry this. I'm going to do a bunch of backgrounds, especially with yellow, and I'll be back. Okay, I think it's time to bring in the tape that we were gonna use that started this whole shebang off. And it's this incredibly gorgeous tape from 49 Market, and Market, something like that. So, we are gonna do it this way. All right. So, and the reason I'm adding it in now is because, as you can see, it is super pretty and clean, and nothing else about my journal is super pretty and clean. So we are gonna have to give it a chance to lose its crap, right? With some of the later layers. If I came and I put this on at the very, very end, it would look like I had just added it for no particular reason, right? So what I'm going to do is, okay, if we do it this way, how much of that, oh, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna smoosh this down on the front. And are we losing too much? I think I wanna take a little, stop it. And this kind of tape, when you put it on, does not feel like it is gonna stick, right? It just is not, it doesn't feel super sturdy. It's like a low tack tape. I may have to glue it to get it to stick stick because it's going over so many different kinds of art products. But it is somewhat tacky, so we're gonna give it a chance to mind itself. It may not be able to. That's fine. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh look, it's getting dirty already, yay us. Okay, here we go. Now let's see what it looks like on the front. Oh, beautiful, uh-oh. Now let's go to the back. Duh. I tend to like RGB colors, like the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So I am going to make it go in that order. Now, is this too much? I feel like it's too much there too. So this was kind of an expensive roll of tape. It was like $12, $12.99, something like that. But I've already used, and if I was super careful, I could save little bits of it. Here, I'll show you. All right, now this isn't a flippy, right? Okay, now, all right. Oh, I wonder why it's getting dirty already considering my hands are covered in paint. Okay, all right. So, we have this little piece, right? We could... Add that in to this page as just another layer. Uh-oh. <laughs> it would be a really good idea 
to check and see if one of your pages is a flippy up page before you just randomly tape things down. But how cute is that now? Now it looks like it's supposed to be done. I have an insert for here. Okay, this insert goes in here. We may have to sauce it up later. But see, it's her and her. How fun is that? Okay. All right, now I got this piece. Ooh, this piece looks like it could go in this page nicely. Right? Okay. Now, let's see what we want to do. Now, I'm not going to go around every single page. But when I seen this tape, look at this. So this is an orange part. So we're gonna cut off an orange part. I'm gonna put this up here. And flippy this over. I don't know what's over there. Oh, look, it looked, it worked perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna have to cut out this notch, but this will help make this kind of flimsy little tag sturdier. So it comes down here. Nope, I can't cut, so it means that must just go to right there. And then we're going to come over here. Cut that notch out. And is there a notch over here? Or does that just go across? I think I messed it up at some point in time. So I think it's just a weird notch. Yeah. I think it's just a weird notch at this point. Oh, this is a pull-out page. And I feel like we're experiencing a little bit of crumble with this not holding. So let's go down here and cut this. This is a really good color, color story for my this journal because I have lots of teal. Okay. So we're gonna take this and cut a little piece. And we, it's on the back. Okay, I can only go so far. Oh, what the heck? We're going to fold that over. So, you know what we have to do now, right? I think you know. Besides cutting my page back open, right? All right, that looks great. But that looks weird, right? So now, what do we have to do? We have to add some more of this over here on this page to make it feel like it's supposed to be there. So we are gonna do some of this because we already know it looks good on that back page, right? Yeah. So we are gonna do some that goes from here to here. And this is fabric tape. I love fabric tape for two reasons. My reasons are twofold. Number one, it's super easy to use. And number two, it, um, nope, that's not an opening page. And number two, it takes stain better than some other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have this come up into this page like this. Super cute. And then I do want a piece of this to highlight my gal's eyes. 
Oh, I like that. Okay, what's going on here? Aw, what's the matter with this girl? Nothing ever happens to her. We're gonna have to tart her up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give her her own. So a couple things have to happen here. We need to get this girl some uh, <laughs> some background stuff. I don't know why I've totally ignored her, but I have this paint in this dauber. that I could use to give her some, oh, the purple's dry. Poor friend, what the heck happened to you? Like I've done nothing on her. She doesn't even have a wee bit of tissue paper, hold on. Gosh. Let's grab, oh, pretty. Oh yeah, she's coming back strong. Look at this gorgeous flowered tissue paper. Okay, little friend, man. Okay, we gotta get our Mod Podge out. And since I'm only doing a teeny bit this time, I will get my silicone because I don't want to have to um, clean a whole brush. Okay. <laughs> That's funny and very weird. Like to just miss an entire page every time I came through this book. Hmm. Hmm. Did you remember her and you were like yelling at me? That one lady, we lost her. Where it's open tissue paper, I like to put an extra layer on so it, um, so it becomes more clear. Okay, sister. You're going to have to speak up if you want to be in my artwork. Otherwise, I'll forget you. I feel like we're redeeming ourselves to her a tiny bit, but man, she was having a bad day. <laughs> Nothing for you. Just a lady on a page looking all normal. Okay. So I am gonna have to let her dry. I'm going to put tape on a bunch of these pages. Um, I think, okay, so I have this piece of, I really should just let her dry. I have this piece of this. I am going to make this into a tab for this page. So we know to lift it up. There we go. See, now you know to lift it up. And we are gonna let this gal dry because this is um, wet, wet Mod Podge and it will mess, it will put a hurtin' on my book. So I'll be back. 